it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So I've just started the Tower Challenge event. It has been pretty good so far. So today I've just been working on leveling up some of my uh, Beauty and the Beast characters here. So here is Belle. She is now level six. Wow, this is everything I ever dreamed of. I bet, and she looks stunning in this brand new dress. So this is her formal dress, her ball gown dress as I like to call it. And uh, I just opened that actually in a legendary chest which was part of the calendar reward. So that was super cool. Um, I just reached now two milestones in the tower challenge which is really great. I love reaching the milestones because it gives me extra event currency which is great, which will get me all of the stuff I need to bring in Christopher Robin into my kingdom, because that's actually all I need for this tower challenge, is just to get Christopher Robin in. Um, so right now, I don't have enough to even buy much of the backpack, so I'm just gonna kinda leave it as is. Now, this leaderboard is a little frustrating, um, but, I'm not doing that great right now. We'll see what happens with that. I really want Maleficent's Ears Hat uh, concession stand there, but again, I'm not doing very well right now, so we'll see if I can make some improvements. I gotta think of a strategy, guys. Strategy time. Um, if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, let me know in the comments below. Anything, any advice you can possibly give me is gonna be very helpful for this event. Now here is Buzz Lightyear, who is battling evil Dr. Porkchop. So we'll see who actually wins this fight. Oh, oh I, think, I think Buzz won that one. Ah, you got me, Lightyear. I hope you're happy. <laughs> of course I'm happy. I saved the happiness of everyone here. Yeah, everyone except me. My dreams of world domination are shattered. Poor Ham. <laughs> Quest complete. Evil Dr. Porkchop Part 3. Just playing my part. Everyone knows a sympathetic villain is more engaging. I guess he's not doing it anymore. So he has officially given up. So we have defeated evil Dr. Porkchop. Sweet. Beast. I knew it. The cursed towers have certain smell. I know. I lived in one. At least the west wing smelled like roses too. Quest complete. Something in the air. This could put Belle in danger. I have to keep her safe. Aw, so romantic. And we got one of the refresh tokens from that. And he's been quieter than usual, too. Even for him. I think he's hiding something from me, Lumiere. But what could it be? I have not the foggiest idea, mademoiselle. But a skillful maître does his ways of finding out. After all, while the master may be uh, the unapproachable sort, uh, the same cannot be said of certain timepieces I could name. I think he's talking about Cogsworth. <laughs> Pretty sure he's talking about him. Time will tell. Send Lumiere to pump Cogsworth for information. Oh dear. What is he gonna do to poor Cogsworth? We know he's a little bit grumpy, but still. Well, not grumpy, more strict. Find out a secret. Okay, so off Lumiere goes. Are they dancing? That is exactly what it looks like. So I guess we will have to wait and see what happens with Lumiere and Cogsworth in the next video. So stay tuned for that and that will continue the uh, Beauty and the Beast secondary storyline with this Chapter 1 Tower Challenge event. So my roster is pretty good for the challenge uh, for the Chapter 1, the first 
uh, what, five days here. So things are looking on the up and up. I've got most of my characters anywhere between levels, um, what is it, I think like six and ten. So that is really good. Uh, a lot of them are actually higher than that, but it's mostly my Beauty and the Beast characters are still kind of, I'm still working on them. I'm trying to level them up sort of in between here, um, here and there, but you know, they're all right. It's kind of fun though, because now a lot of my characters that haven't been useful for collecting any character tokens for anybody, um, they are now useful again. So I'm really enjoying seeing all these um, little character token symbols, and I have all these options now to actually collect. It's a little bit more fun when the characters can collect for somebody. Um, otherwise, it's just like, it's just magic. I obviously love magic, but when you got... Like, what do I have now? Probably almost 100 characters. I think I went through this recently and I had to go through and count them all, but not quite at 100, but I think I'm getting close to that. And uh, when you have to count that many characters and send them out to do stuff, it takes a little while. And if they're just collecting magic, it's not as fun as when they can go out and collect uh, to level up other characters here. So, for example, Mrs. Potts is going to be leveled up in no time at all. So, I'm very excited about that. I can restart collecting for her all over again. And it's Minnie. Aw, oh, she disappeared. She's gone. So let me know how you guys are doing in the tower challenge, um, especially in the leaderboard event. I'm really looking forward to hearing how you guys are doing in that. Um, it seems like it's going to be pretty tricky, but if you are placed in the top 50 right now, congratulations ahead of time. You guys are doing awesome. Um, and I cannot wait to hear how you guys did um, when it ends in a few days here. Mrs. Potts is now level 5. Fool me? Oh. You really shouldn't have, dear. No more dialogue from her. Not yet, anyways. We'll see if we get any more next time. She's not that hard to collect for, but I think a lot of the quests are like four hours for her and stuff. Oh, there's a one hour one, but that's with her, so it's a little different. Mm, let's see here. I think I'm going to my other characters, which are the Snow White ones I'm trying to level up for next week. Um, and then I will also start working on the Winnie the Pooh characters really, really soon in order to get them leveled up for the um, final chapter or week, I've been calling it, but final chapter of the Tower Challenge. So kind of working all over, but mostly Beauty and the Beast and Snow White. And then Winnie the Pooh is just sort of my... Um, sort of third option if I need it right now. So that is everything I'm going to be doing for today's video. So thank you for watching another Disney Girls Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Make sure to give this video a big Mickey thumbs up and subscribe for lots more Disney Girl fun. And don't forget to stay tuned for the awesome video I am going to be doing for Captain Jack Sparrow. The video that um, I wanted to get to 100 likes before I actually brought him into the kingdom because I have to buy him. I'm actually going to bring him in because you guys did it. You guys got me over 100 likes and thank you so much. This is going to be great. I cannot wait to show you guys Jack Sparrow and hopefully start collecting for his brand new pirate's costume. All right, so I'll see you guys for my next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Bye!